Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another kit review for me, Hollywood Modeling. Um, today, a rather unusual subject for my channel. If you go through my channel, you have probably seen once or twice. Um, I have kind of found my way to a different subject than German armor or German airplanes. And this time, I have found my way to Russian armor again. And um, there's there's a couple of reasons. First and foremost, I like the looks of those trumpeter KV ones. Uh, secondly, um, Mr. Adam Wilder is doing a build series on a KV one, and I love what he's doing. And so uh, I was quite impressed by the look of it. And thirdly, those trumpeter kits are really nice. They come with a lot of extras, and are not expensive at all. And of course, most importantly. From January 1st, the ISM forum, um, thanks to Lee and Paul, will have a group build on Russian subjects from Russia with Love, where everything Russian is allowed. So this is 99.9% uh, .9 likely to be my entry into the group build. Um, got the kit of eBay. It's a Christmas present to myself, in essence. Um, I paid twenty four ninety five plus shipping. That's a really good price for what you get in the box, and we'll take a look at this in a in a bit here. Um, it's the KV one S. It's the heavier variant of the KV one, where they replaced the turret with a leaner turret and uh, just made a couple of uh, modifications, like the fuel drums here in the back. Um, I don't know much about the KV one. But I can show you guys this, if you like. And if you want to read it, if the camera would focus, just pause it and you can read what you, what, what, what the awesome uh, Google Translator did for Trumpy there. Um, 440 plus parts, you'll see why in a second. And let me just get the box open and we'll take a look at the spruce. Spruce, you ask? Well, actually, I've decided we'll start out with all the paper that's in the box. And first and foremost, Trumpeter always includes this um, news items uh, or new items, actually, new items uh, fold out sheet. And I have to say, it's from 2012, so the kit is from 2012 to 11 and something like that. And I've seen all those models already and the tracks. Those are model casting reboxes, I think, with those nice track pins. That, 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 that's, that looks a nice kit here, the SU-152 late. And inside we actually have an advertisement for the KV-1 we just bought. And for a BRDM-2, which... Ah, those were the things they used in, uh, in Chernobyl. Yes, those are the things that stand to the thousands at the scrapyard in Chernobyl. Right, exactly. All right, other paper in the box. And that's that's something I love about Trumpeter. They offer you a very, very nice colored painting and marking guide. And there are four variants in this kit. The first one, that's the thing here I don't like, is they don't tell you where they were used. It's just for marking options. Deal with it. We have Russian green. Russian green, two different turret markings, the rest is identical. On the other side though, we have something different. Russian green, two variants. Actually, we have more than four. Look at this. We have two with six in total. Russian green. Then we've got that looks like, yeah, it's mahogany with a whitewash on it. This is Russian green with a whitewash on it, and two Russian green variants. I have to say. I like this this whitewash idea here, and I might just do this, but we'll see. I haven't made up my mind yet. I just got the kit today, um, and the instruction sheet, of course. Um, English once again. That's probably Google Translator, um, and Chinese, I think, or Korean or Japanese. I I, I don't know exactly where Trumpeter come from. I think they are a Chinese company. Let me let me quickly look here before I insult anybody. Um, 
This product is not a toy. Yeah, it's China. All right, it's Chinese. All right, this is Chinese, not Japanese or anything. Don't be insulted, people. Um, I just don't know those languages, so. Yeah, don't eat the kid, don't feed it to your dog or rabbit. Spurmap. Um, it's numbered. Good thing I've seen Spurmaps that weren't numbered, which would probably drive me nuts. Um, hull tub. We have a solid hull tub, but we add side panels. Why they couldn't mold them on, I don't know, but they didn't. Um, backplate, and we have two options here, photo edge or not photo edge. Always a nice touch. Build up the suspension system. That's nice. Track tightener. Interesting. That's for the idler. Yes, exactly. Not a sprocket. No, the idler. Exactly. Yeah, they're rolling around. Um, because on those Russian tanks, for whatever reason, the idler wheel is in front and the, uh, the sprocket is in the back. Which is interesting. Um, machine gun. Tracks. Single link tracks. I thought I got link in length, but I got single link. Yay! For all, here I come. Um, tracks go on, which they won't at this point. Then they put the fenders on. Stuff on the fenders here. Third. And now I have to read this out because I love this. Assembly option or no assembly. And daily install position. Huh? Whatever Google Translate wanted to say there, I have no clue. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's 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 the, the the thing about Trumpeter. I think is amusing to me. It's it just amuses me that they use Google Translate and they can't like employ someone who speaks English to do this for them. Not a good thing. Um, fuel drums, towing cables, tow hooks, turn it on, done. All right. That's the paper, and it's got like 10 steps. Yeah, 10 steps, and the thing is built. Let me get the spruce out, and we'll take a look at the spruce next. All right, let's start out with the least. Uh, the, the thing I like the least about this kit is these. It's, it's single link tracks. Normally, I like single link tracks. I have no problem with building them. But every track link has six locator points where it locates to the sprue. Or another track link so that's six points you have to clean up and and I wouldn't put this past them no they don't, actually don't they have no ejector pin marks on the track links that's probably why they have six locator points but still that's a lot of cleanup and you have 88 links to side so that's probably 100 that's 176 times six that's like 800 points you have to clean up or even more i don't want to do this i'd rather just drill a hole through fools and just burnish them so i'm thinking hard about fools i might do these but i just can't see me doing these all right the next sprue or Brew adjacent is our hull tub. Let me open this little bag. I need a new blade and my knife. That's always a nice thing. And take out what's in there because there's some stuff in there. Let's start out with this. A metal barrel. Awesome. Um, if you buy a dragon kit and you want to mount a barrel in there, you probably pay like 10 euros more than you would normally do. So for 25 euros, I get a metal barrel. Awesome. I don't see rifling. Yeah, it's one of those where you have like a centimeter before you get solid into in there. And some clear parts for the headlights. I won't take those out. But I will take the hull tub out. Although, like I said earlier, we glue the side panels on in step one. So they are blank. No detail whatsoever. There's some underneath detail here. Um, some nice rivets. Um, not many, but the ones that are there are roundish. I don't know if they have to be, 
or if they are just softly molded. We have some nice weld seams along the sides here. They look really good and some weld seams underneath. I know my camera resolution is not working awesome today. I have no idea what's wrong with it. But yeah, it's acting up a bit. Alright, next screw back. This one contains roll wheels and fuel tanks to the look of it. They are identical. So I'll just take one out of the back. Yeah, like I said, we have really nicely molded idler wheel. The, the molding quality, I have to say, I'm, I'm, I'm stunned by the quality of the molds here on those trumpeter kits. I've, I've seen earlier trumpeter kits where the molds were really, really iffy. For example, their Challenger 2. But this, this is top notch. Um, we've got the caps for the wheels, we got the suspension arms and the fuel tanks. And I have to say, the fuel tank detail on the filler cap is really, really nice. There's some really nice detail in there, and sadly the camera just won't pick it up today. The bump stops look really good. I have to say I'm really, really impressed by the molding quality. This is by far the best Trumpy kit I've seen molding-wise. By far. So yeah, Trumpy 2012, you are worth the money. Especially at the really good bargain price you come at. Jesus, guys. You all should buy Trumpeter KV-1s at that, at that rate, if they look that good. Um, next up, we have the engine deck cover, the back plate. This is the plastic option that we also get in Photo Edge. Those are the grills. Yeah, I hope I get them in Photo Edge. If not, I'm a bit disappointed, but I can make them work anyways. Um, Machine gun, uh, bow machine gun hub. Rabbits are going insane right now. I have no idea what's wrong with them. Maybe they know it's Christmas time and they want nice gifts, but they're acting like little children, so they're not getting anything. <laughs> Hooks for the towing cable that go on the on the fenders right here. There you go. And once again, the molding quality, even on those small parts like these is really nice. I have no idea what they are, but they look like grab handles. All right, next up. Not a lot of bags left. What is that? What? What? Ew. Jesus Christ, there's vermin in my box. That vermin, but vermin. I think I have to type, talk to the seller. Ew. Ew. I don't want that fucking bugs in my my tank. Jesus. Um, Trumpeter do a good job if they have delicate parts on their on their sprues. And apparently here they have, yeah, those are the grab handles that run around the rear engine deck. And this is the protective stuff around them. We've got the engine deck second part. We've got the front. This is the bowel. Turret, of course, goes there. Fenders. They're a bit soft on top. No diamond plating. But I have no idea whether or not the original had diamond plating or not. It might not have had. Um, engine, axis, cover. Those caps for the engine axis. Those, yeah, hatches, exactly. And even more grab handles. And this is the, the chain that holds the engine cover in place if you open it. Wheels! Tiny weeny wheels, not taking them out of the plastic again, molding quality out of this world. I have no idea, but this is awesome, awesome quality plastic. I have to say guys, this is top notch molding. I haven't seen that good molding from Trumpeter before, like I said. Trumpeter are really impressing me right now with this kit. I might have to get some more new Trumpeter kits. I've built a couple. I've built a laugh. I've built the Challenger. Well, actually, I've started building the Challenger, but it's not good, so I stopped it. And I've built the T62. The T62 so far was the best, but this blows the T62 out of the park. Really nice, subtle, but nice casting texture on the turret. 
not as overdone as on the Academy, for example. Really good. Third roof. What we got in here? I have no idea. Oh, yeah, those are the vision ports. Nice. Protective sleeve around the vision ports. Um, like I said, it all looks really nicely molded. No problems whatsoever with the mold here. Really good. And then I've got some small minute spur bags. Decal, photo edge. Get out of the box. The side panels, like I said. Um, not a lot of detail, but around the swing arms and everything, you get, get good detail there. Looking really good again. Really nice molding. And I don't see flash. I don't see locator pin marks where you don't need them. Not a lot of cleanup on those parts. The tracks, like I said, are something else. And then we've got the mantlet and the plastic gun barrel. It's a one-piece gun barrel. It has a seam, of course, but that's not a big problem. You can, you can easily remove that and clean that up. We have a very small PE shade sheet. Shit, yeah, PE sheet. This is the replacement part here. This is the air intake, so we don't have the vent covers for the top of the hull. That's a shame. And some smaller photo edge. I think this is the machine gun, uh, machine gun cover up here. No, down there. <laughs> and then for the towing cables, we get this um, copper wire, which you can all also buy from the trumpeter adjacent master tool brand in those little things here for two euros which i think is a really cheap bargain if you need towing cables and then last but certainly not least let me get the decals out here and show you guys the quality of the detail the uh, decals and myself oh oh my lord they are shiny and they have massive massive carrier film around them those might be a problem so I might have to do what Wilder did and paint them on. The carrier film is massive. They are shiny as, as hell. Yeah, that's massive. The ones are, are right here. Around the ones, the carrier film is not as bad. But on those 23s, is like a centimeter to all, all the sides over hanging. So, yeah. The decals, yeah. Yeah, not so great. But the rest, I have to say, has right now really impressed me. Um, let me summarize, I think, what I just uh, saw. Um, molding quality, 10 out of 10. Detail, 10 out of 10. Tracks, 5 out of 10. Um, additional parts, 10 out of 10. Price, 10 out of 10. This is definitely a 9 out of 10 here, if not higher. The only downfall for me is the tracks and decals, but those are easily replaceable. And for 25 euros to get a kit that is that well molded, you have to look a long time with Dragon. So I'm really impressed with this kit. Highly, highly recommended. You can look on Scalemates, those, those Trumpeter KV-1s, they were all released in the 2012 range and they're all based on the same base kit and just with additional sprues. Um, they're all worth it, and they're all around the 20 euro, 20 to 30 euro mark. Can't go wrong with any of these, I think. But you have to check, not all of them come with uh, the metal barrel. Some of them come with link and length tracks. Some of them come with rubber band and link and length. And some of them come with the uh, single link tracks. I didn't check on the tracks, that was my mistake. But other than that, stunning kit. It, I, I hope it builds up like a dream. I can't tell you right now, but I will tell you after I build it. So, stunning kit. Thank you guys for watching this review. Like I said, go buy it. Highly recommended. Great, great, great Christmas present. If you don't know, if you have a secret Santa going and your price range is like 20 to 30 euros, great, great gift. Anyhow, f see you guys around for the next video. This is Hot Modeling. Um, be, may the Force be with you. Force Awakens is in, in cinemas. I'm going to watch it tomorrow. And I see you guys around. This is Hot Modeling. Bye for now, guys.